welcome back to my habitat. I'm Andrew Beauchamp, and today we're gonna plant up some stuff. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Most of my stuff that's filling the bases of my garden is already planted. I got the eggplant, got tomatoes, got peppers, uh, got a bunch of other little flowers. But then I have this corner where I'm not planting tomatoes, I'm not planting eggplant, I'm not planting peppers. What am I gonna put there? Well, it's an autumn sods day. So I'm gonna plant all the little things that are gonna go in those little spaces. They're not necessarily little spaces. These plants aren't tiny plants. They are plants that get big and will take up the space, but that's what I want and that's usually what I need. So hopping right into the varieties, number one is a climbing vine, Mexican sour gherkin. These are called mice melons. Uh, quite, they go by a lot of names. I know them by sour gherkins. The vines will take up a space on a trellis or on a wall, whatever the heck you want it to climb on, it will climb for you. And they also produce a ton of their fruits. These little tiny cucumbers, I haven't found a great use for them, but they are an amazing garden snack. Next one is a Celosia wool flower. I think it's called Chinese wool flower. Really beautiful plant. Uh, comes in, takes up a little corner, and produces, well, these big bushy flowers. A downside, although this is beautiful, I don't find the pollinators like it that much. There's, it's kind of, it's a plant that's a little hard for them to get the pollen from, so they, I, I find they don't go near it that often. But if you want people to, ah, oh, and ooh, at your garden, this is it. This is what you want to plant, because this is an on and ooing plant. People will, well, their mouths will drop. I'm doing a whole row of ground cherries and it's time for them to be planted. I want about 10 uh, plants. They're gonna be in my backyard, not at the new garden site. And uh, I'm really excited. I love ground cherries. They've kind of, I found they've been more popular in more recent years, but they're really easy to grow. They come in these really awesome paper husks and you don't pick them off the plant, you pick them off the ground, ground cherries. And I just think that's really cool. I only have four trays I need to pack with soil. This is gonna go really quick. Let's get started. These are all gonna go on a heat mat, the wool flower, the sour gherkins, and the ground cherries. They're all kind of heat loving, so they're gonna go on the heat mat. Once again, not necessary, but it's always nice to give your plants a little love with the heat. This is where they ended up. Everything else is doing fantastic. Got all the peppers up here. Some beautiful perennials over here. So happy with how lush and beautiful everything's doing. This season's just around the corner and I'm honestly just so excited. In fact, I was out the other day and I saw tulips coming up. Just the little tips and they're all red because we also are still getting a little bit of snow and flurries, but I can smell it. It's in the air, trees are budding up. I'm just so excited. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, stay gardening.